Hey guys, welcome back to another hiking adventure. Today, I am at Montana de Oro State Park, located in Central California, roughly about 25 minutes from San Luis Obispo and Morro Bay, California. And I'm about to do the Point Bouchon Trail. The Point Bouchon Trail is labeled as moderate at 626 feet of elevation gain, eight miles round trip, and this is a very beautiful hike. It goes along a really extremely gorgeous coastline and it's probably one of the best hikes in this entire area. So as a side note, this trail is actually closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. It's open from eight to four or five, one of those. And you definitely have to come here during those times only or else you just can't get in here at all to hike. So when you do reach the trail, you have to sign in with the attendant. And the attendant did warn me today that there have been some rattlesnake sightings. So I will have to keep my eyes and ears open. But luckily these trails are pretty open, so you can see really well. Like a trail like this, you can see a rattlesnake in a second. So this little path takes you to uh, Coon Creek Beach. You have to check this out, it's amazing. What an absolutely amazing sea cave this is. Just beautiful. Pretty amazing hike so far. I love this place. You definitely wanna check it out whenever you're in this area. So another thing about this trail, you will see a whole bunch of cows along the way because I guess this is an open pasture. This is like one of the most beautiful sections of the Central California coastline. It is just gorgeous. The only other place that I can think could, could rival this is like Big Sur. But Point Bouchon Trail is just amazing. And you would think a trail like this would be totally crowded, full of people, but it's not. I feel a lot of tranquility. I do see people, but not very many. We're spaced out really good. It's great. So you definitely gotta love all the poppies I'm seeing right now, at least on this section of the hike. It's beautiful. So I did notice a lot of people turning around at that last portion I just showed you now, but the trail does continue on and it does get really scenic later on. So this is where the majority of the elevation gain comes in. This part of the hike is also the windiest too. The wind really starts to kick up here.
So this overlook right here is called Windy Point. You can totally see why. So this trail has gotten crazy with the tall weeds and stuff. I don't remember them being like this when I came out here two years ago, but we did have heavy rain for the past two winters. So I can see why they're so damn high. A little nervous looking for snakes when I'm hiking through something like this, but uh, I just keep monitoring the ground and the sides. So I'm glad I got through the high plant section, but I do have to go back through it on the way back. So I made it to the end of the Point Bouchon Trail and this is an absolutely stunning hike and a must do when visiting the San Luis Obispo County area. You guys, I really want to thank you so much for joining me on this adventure today. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you have not done so already, I would totally love for you to subscribe to my channel so I can take you with me on future hiking adventures around Central California or other parts of the nation. Thanks again. I'll see you guys on the next one. Till next time.